Hey there, thanks for checking out the video. Today we're going to be looking at setting up a simple SMS opt-in campaign using high level. SMS or text opt-in campaigns work really well when used in conjunction with a promotion. If people are going to opt-in, they're going to want something worthwhile in return for giving you their phone number. So what is an SMS or text opt-in campaign? A good example would be if you had a client in the dental space who was running a promotion and wanted to advertise it on a billboard downtown. Dr. John here is doing just that, offering a 20% discount for passers-by to text the word smile to his phone number. Inside High Level, you can set up a trigger to watch for SMS messages containing the exact word or phrase and then reply with the power of automation. And that is exactly what we're gonna learn how to do now. For such a useful and powerful function, it's incredible how easy it is to set it up with a high level workflow. We start by creating a new workflow and we'll start from scratch, so just click continue. As always, it's best to name your workflow so you've got reference of what the workflow is called and what function it performs. To add your trigger, simply click add new workflow trigger and search for customer replied and then we need to add in filters so if you come to add filters and select reply channel and we can select sms as you can see there are other options which are potential winners for other types of opt-in campaigns next we're going to add a secondary filter there are two options available to us now we can either use contains phrase or exact match phrase. Now contains phrase is if the customer were to send a sentence and you're looking for the word smile, as in our example, as long as what the customer has replied with contains the word smile, then this will trigger the workflow. Exact match means the customer has to reply exactly that word and nothing else. In this case, we're gonna go for contains phrase, just in case the customer replies, yes, I'd love a lovely smile and simply click save trigger. And with our trigger in place, come over to here and select to add an action. For this action, we're gonna send us SMS. So we search for SMS, click send SMS, and we're gonna enter our details in here. It's always best to add the client's name at the start of an SMS opt-in campaign. This means the customer will know exactly who the SMS is from and won't be annoyed that it's sent by someone they don't know. And simply type your message. It's always best to include the business name at the start of the text message. The customer will read that first and they won't be annoyed because they've requested this SMS message. Then simply come down to the bottom, click save, turn it from draft to publish, and then click save again. And there you have it, it's as simple as that. When a customer replies in the SMS channel containing the phrase smile, they will receive the corresponding SMS message you may want to add this person to a pipeline. So we can use the create opportunity workflow action to add them to a pipeline. You may be wanting to text Dr. John as well, just to let him know. So we can do that using an internal notification and sending him an SMS. One potential great follow-up for this would be to add in a wait select say seven days just name the action as well we can wait seven days to see if this potential customer goes on to book an appointment as long as your appointment workflow applies a tag when the appointment is booked you could add an if else statement like so that checks to see if the contact has had the booked appointment tag applied just name this branch as yes booked and save if the tag hasn't been applied we can send another SMS message so 
perfect follow-up to ensure maximum uptake of the promotion. So that's one powerful little function in just a few clicks. Use SMS opt-in campaigns to get your clients better results.